Hi guys, welcome back to Tara Makes Up. Today it is September favourites time. Um, not super large amounts today. Um, again, it's a mix of kind of personal favourites, things that my pro kit and makeup I've been enjoying having a play with this month. So I'm gonna get straight into it. The first thing that I've been loving, and just a little uh, warning, if my nose starts going really red, it's because I've got really bad allergies today and I keep sneezing. So hopefully we'll be okay. The first thing I'm gonna start with is the Urban Decay Concealer. Now, this is the Weightless Complete Cover Concealer. I've got three shades here that have come from my Pro Kit. And not just do I love this on me, and I'm really late to the bandwagon with this one, I know I am, guys. Um, but I guess I've just been very kind of true to my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, which I still love. But I do agree if you have really dry skin, like super dry skin, sometimes it does catch. And I think the more you apply that, sometimes it does cake on some people, not on everyone. Um, so the difference I would say with this is I feel this is that tiny bit more fluid, but you still get the same coverage. Um, I would say maybe tiny bit more coverage with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, but these are still really lovely to use for under eyes, to use for kind of over spots or abrasions, and they're nice for kind of just evening out skin tone and redness. So very, very late to the bandwagon on these, but they are definitely something that I've loved this month and I'm really enjoying using in my kit. So next two products come from H&M's new range. and um, This is their, I think it's called the beauty department they have in their stores. Again, I'm not sure if it's in all the stores or just the main ones, the large ones. I got this from Oxford Circus in London. Um, so the two products, I've loved various different products from the collections. Um, they have kind of beauty, I think they have hair care, they have body care um, and accessories. But this is the Perfectionist Finishing Powder Ivory. Really, really like this. It's a mattifying powder. It's very similar to MAC Blot Powder in that it doesn't give super amounts of coverage. It just gives a nice blot, helps mattify the skin um, without drying the skin or kind of catching. And it's really nice and shit. And I love the packaging. There's probably loads of fingerprints on this. Um, but I love the fact it's just kind of black and white. And then I think some of the eye palettes were black on the front and then white on the back, which I thought looked really simple and nice and chic for kind of a high street product. And the other one I've been loving is uh, a lipstick, and it's this shade here. Probably should have put it on today, but I forgot. Um, and this has kind of been living in my handbag actually all month, and it's called 003 Chestnut Cream. It's a very nice, I would say, more peachy brown nude, so that's kind of the colour it swatches. Um, I think these were like 6 99 or something, so it's super affordable. And the finish of these lipsticks is very, very creamy, so it's got a nice opaque intensity, but you can shear it down, build it up. And I find these kind of, A, they stay on really, really well for a moisturising lipstick. And I also found they didn't dry my lips out, which sometimes cheaper lipsticks tend to do. So if you're near a H&M, see the packaging, they have like gold and white on the lipsticks. So if you're near a H&M, I would definitely go and check out some of the makeup. I have done a blog post below, which I'll also link, which I did a review of, uh, a kind of a general over review of the H&M uh, makeup. So I'll link that below if you want more details. The next thing is some wipes. So these are by Ico and they're called the Mascara Off Eye Makeup Remover Wipes Quick and Easy. Um, they have olive oil to smooth, aloe, aloe extract to soothe, and you get 10 in a pack. And I think you can buy these in packs of like 30, so you get three packs in one. Not sure exactly. Um, these were sent to me, and I love these. Now, whilst I don't kind of um, endorse using wipes as an everyday way to take your makeup off, these are really good when, for example, say I've been on my way to the gym or something, and I've got mascara on that I know is really, really hard to get off, but it's still going to crumble down my face. I've enjoyed using these just to help kind of initially move the makeup and get it off and they really do work on waterproof mascara um, very very tough mascara like the benefit they're real they get that off really really well um, and I like that they're small and handy and they're kind of like little squares you get but they have even though they're not really really wet with um, remover they work really really well so it's a simple one but I really really love those Ico wipes now you guys know me I'm such an eyeliner hoarder um, Harry Flick that is something that I do all the time and I've probably worn since I was about 14 and I tried recently the Estee Lauder uh, little black liner which is a double-ended uh, eyeliner liquid liner and this is really really great if you haven't tried this um, you kind of have like it's really hard to explain I don't know if the camera will pick this up but it has kind of like a rounded um, square nib which is really great for creating like really modern shapes or if you want to thicken up really quickly that's great and then you also have a really nice kind of more neat edged nib um, which you can kind of go from thick to thin and it says ultra fine I find the formula of this really, really good. It's really long wearing and I find this really easy to apply. 
Um, and again, I think the convenience of these kind of pens is so good. So I've been loving that this month. The next one is a slightly newer launch and it comes from Burberry and it is called the Face Contour Effortless Contouring Pen. It says for face and eyes, it's really small and handy. I love the idea behind this. Um, I was lucky enough to go to the uh, Burberry Beauty launch with Wendy Rowe and watch her apply the makeup to the models. And I love how she used this. So this one is number one shade medium. I think it comes in two tones. So if I swatch it for you, you can see it's kind of like more of a warm brown, but it's more red. It's not too warm that it's yellowy. Um, but I love how Wendy Rowe used this. She used it in the eyes to contour. And she actually did it kind of, she put like um, a radiant primer on first. And then she used this and then did foundation over the top, which I really liked for a very, very sheer way of contouring, a very natural way of contouring. And I've found since having this in my kit, I've been using it an awful lot, again, for eyes, for kind of eyebrows, just kind of using it to subtly shade where I'd like to, but in a way that looks incredibly natural. And I love the idea of it kind of being in this like roll up crayon form. It's really easy to use, really easy to pop in your handbag. And um, yeah, I've really loved using that. So another thing that I've been using a lot for bodies at the minute, and I think we're sadly coming to the end of the summer, that's how it feels here in London anyway, but on legs and on myself and on shoots, I've been loving the Charlotte Tilbury, the supermodel body. Um, see if I can do this without making an awful mess. But it comes with like a rollable, which is really nice and cooling as well, which you can just roll along. Um, I think this one's turned off, but hopefully you can see you get a really nice sheen and shimmer. Um, and I think the rollerball action as well just helps kind of smooth the legs as well really nicely. But I love the colour of this. It's not like a tan colour. It's not super, super highlighty. It just gives that lovely glow to the body, to limbs, especially if you're wearing dresses. So for kind of evenings out or on décolleté, it's really, really beautiful. So yeah, that's one. Again, probably a bit late to the party on this one, but I've really loved that this month. Makeup brushes this month, there's one that has been a standout brush in my kit and it keeps sneaking its way back into my own makeup bag and it's by Shuemura, it's the number 17 Pony Squirrel. Incredibly, incredibly soft hair. If you are a big fan of the Suku brushes, I'm pretty sure you'll like this one. This is definitely flatter and thinner, so if I turn it on its side. Um, however, the bristles being so, so soft mean that you can build up from very, very sheer application of blush to a lot bigger. You can use it on its side to contour. And I just really like the way I find this, this kind of blends as you apply it. So I've been loving this brush. And again, it's quite small and dinky as well. So it's nice for traveling. Um, and it's a very, very high quality brush as all the Shuramara brushes are. Um, and I just felt that this deserved a little mention this month. A drugstore favourite I've been loving this month that I'm currently wearing is one of the Matt Me Up lips by Barry M, Lip Crayon. They have a smooth and creamy texture, so you can see this is the one I'm wearing here. A nice roll up application, so nice and easy, no sharpening, no mess. And I think this colour, it's almost one of those kind of like quite deep pinky nudes. Um, in terms of if you had like a darker natural lip colour, this might be more of a nude on you. However, on me, I find this is quite a kind of autumn-y colour. It's a nice transitional colour before I get into my dark berries. And it's really wearable for daytime as well. So I've really been enjoying that. And again, the price point of those is super, super uh, bargain friendly. And then on to kind of non-beauty favourites, there's two things that I've been really, really loving. One in particular, and that is, um, I've always had a love for kind of film photography and instant photography, in particular Polaroid. And I've really got back into that recently. And one of the things I treated myself to this month was the Instax Mini 90, um, which I love. It's got kind of quite an old fashioned style. It's almost got like the embossed um, leather look print on top. Um, when you open it, you have a little kind of selfie button here. So you could use that as a mirror. It's really, really easy to use compared to some of the um, other kind of instant cameras. Very simple. I mean, I am I want to think that I'm really good at techie things, but I'm such a slow learner, so this is perfect. And you can see you've got your zoom, and it has flash built in as well, and then the little photos come out here. And one of the things I've been trying to do, actually, is I've decided that, I feel like it's something I should have started in January, but I'm trying to take a photo of every face I paint at the minute, whether that's how it makes up, whether it's with an artist or uh, some, a model on a shoot. I'm trying to collect so I can have a big collage of every face I've painted, maybe over a year or something. So this is coming with me at the minute to every shoot. Um, it comes with a really good quality strap as well. And uh, me and my friend Lou in particular, we've been going out for little photo days and that's been such a nice way to spend time off. I think 
I'm the first to hold my hands up and say it's so easy to sit back and watch Netflix or just switch off with the TV. And I found myself with this actually really making an effort to get outdoors and have kind of other hobbies that don't involve um, social media, that don't involve anything that's actually kind of techy in a computer or phone sense. Um, and yeah, I really, really enjoyed using this and kind of really um, enjoyed watching YouTube videos of how to do really good Polaroid photography. So that's something I've really got back into. And that definitely has to be a favourite for this month. Um, and I definitely think it's a great little camera. So if you're into kind of instant photography, um, definitely have a little check that out. There's reviews on YouTube everywhere. And then to go with it, um, I got this little bag from Tiger. Um, I'm hoping it's still available because I bought it about a month or so ago now. So it's like the shape of a camera, but a little like kind of foamy square bag. And then I've just been keeping all my Polaroid pictures inside here because I brought it originally thinking when I get a new vlog camera, I would put that in here. Um, however, that's not happened yet. So my normal camera is still too big. Um, but I have, like I said, lots of little Polaroids of, so girls I've done from shoots. Um, I've got ones where I've been in the park, like little touristy photos. Um, and it's a really nice way just to kind of hold them all. But again, if you had a little camera or for a phone, um, I think this is a really cute case. The fact you have kind of the front and the back like a camera um, and it was really inexpensive I think it was like three or four pounds or something um, if I can find the link for it obviously I will put it below and that's all my favorites of September guys so do let me know if there's anything else you think I should be trying in the comments below things that were maybe your favorites for September and I look forward to seeing you guys soon thanks very much bye